I don't know about you but I was a big fan of the first two seasons of MTV's Scream, the TV series. It breaks down like this, Scream is my favorite horror movie, and the first one I ever saw, and I would watch and love any incarnation of the series, even a Saturday morning cartoon, I'm there. It's with this in mind I'm really looking forward to the upcoming rebooted third season, which was supposed to air this past March but that didn't happen. So where is the third season of MTV Scream? You guess is as good as mine, but that said we do have a slight update on the series via new star Tyler Posey. Posey recently was out and about talking this and that about his role in the recent Blumhouse teen horror flick Truth or Darren let slip a bit about how he came to be cast in Scream Season 3. When I watched the first season of Scream, I fell in love the cast. Posey told Daily Dead. Then when they rebooted the entire thing for Season 3, and I got a call from one of my friends who was the director of photography on Teen Wolf, and he was also hired to come in do Scream. He called me, and he was like, hey, man. There's this role that we would love to have you play. Would you want to come down and play with us? He continues, I didn't have to read the role or really know anything about the script to immediately be on board because 1. I was excited to work with my friend again. 2. It was in Atlanta and that's where we filmed Teen Wolf for the first two seasons, so I was excited to go back there. 3. I'm a huge fan of the Scream movies, and Ghostface is such an iconic character, so I thought it would cool to be in the same show as that universe. That's one of the things about acting that I just love, where you can get these weird and cool experiences that you can put under your belt. For me, being on screen with a classic character like Ghostface is just really cool. Are you excited about the third season of Scream? Make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. The third season of Scream, the TV series is expected to air sometime this year on MTV. Season 1 Synopsis, MTV's TV series adaptation of the hit horror film franchise. Instigated by a cyberbullying incident that goes viral, a brutal murder in Lakewood stirs memories of a crime spree from the town's past that has haunted some, intrigued others and maybe just spawned a new executioner. At the center of the story is a group of teenagers, with two old friends struggling to reconnect at its heart who become lovers, enemies, suspects, targets and victims of a killer who's out for blood. Netflix's upcoming zombie survival film Cargo starring Martin Freeman, Ghost Stories, hits Netflix May 18th. And to prepare for its release, today we have an all-new clip called, I Tack. It almost features a zombie attack, so I guess the name is fitting enough. You can check out the new clip below and then make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. The film is directed by Ben Howling on Yolanda Ramke from a script written by Ramke and stars Martin Freeman, Anthony Hayes, Susie Porter, Karen Pistorius, Chris McQuaid, Simone Landers, and David Gulpilo. Cargo hits Netflix May 18. Synopsis, stranded in rural Australia in the aftermath of a violent pandemic, an infected father desperately searches for a new home for his infant child and a means to protect her from his own changing nature. Last week we shared the first poster for Blumhouse's Halloween with you guys, and for those of you that somehow missed it, you can check it out to the right. And speaking of the new film, today we have a fun update via Scream Queen Supreme, Jamie Lee Curtis. Curtis recently sat down with Yahoo to discuss her role in the upcoming Blumhouse sequel and she had more than a few interesting things to say. I've seen a trailer and I've seen some footage, and it's terrifying. Curtis said, they went full tilt boogeyman. And I've never said that in my life, and I will say Full Tilt Boogeyman for the rest of the year as I go around talking about this. Full Tilt Boogeyman. Classic. She then talks about what drew her back to the franchise after an officially calling it quits following Halloween, Resurrection. As soon as I read what David Green and Danny McBride had come up with, and the way that they connected the dots of the story, it made so much sense to me that it felt totally appropriate for me to return to Haddonfield, Hill for another 40th anniversary retelling. Curtis then talks about what she thinks should be the official title of the new film. There was the idea of, what do you call it, and if I had had my druthers, I probably would have called it Halloween Retold. Because it's being retold. It's the original story in many, many, many ways just retold 40 years later with my granddaughter. And finally, she speaks about how people who love horror movies are going to love this new film, for people who like that sort of thing, I think it's going to be really fun for them to experience. For me, that just isn't hold any interest to me. Because, I'm frightened enough about all, today's political climate. So the idea of now paying money and sitting in a dark theater with a bunch of people and watching something really scary doesn't really do much for me. 
but there are a lot of people who love it and they're gonna love this movie. How excited are you for Blumhouse's Halloween? Make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. Halloween is directed by David Gordon Green based on a script he wrote with Danny McBride. Jamie Lee Curtis returns as Laurie Strode as does Nick Castle as Michael, the shape, Myers. They are joined by Will Patton, Andy Matajic, and Judy Greer. Halloween creator John Carpenter is on board as executive producer and composer. The anticipated release date is October 19, 2018. Synopsis, Jamie Lee Curtis returns to her iconic role as Laurie Strode, who comes to her final confrontation with Michael Myers, the masked figure who has haunted her since she narrowly escaped his killing spree on Halloween night four decades ago. At this point I often wonder if Fox is just playing a prank on all of us and Josh Boone's The New Mutants is just going to keep getting pushed back for the rest of time. Maybe it's just a fake trailer all a grindhouse. I'm kidding, I hope, but all the same we'll keep reporting on the New Mutants news if the getting is good. So with that in mind, today we have an update on the film via co-star Charlie Heaton, Stranger Things. It's basically about these mutants in a facility for damaged mutants. Heaton told you. It's a story about these characters coming to grips with who they are and it's a horror X-Men movie, which we haven't seen before. I feel like, for an X-Men movie, yeah, I think they're going full-fledged horror. Without saying too much, I really don't want to give away too much what it's about, it's very under wraps, but it is, in terms of anything we've seen in the X-Men world, it definitely is a horror film. It's scarier than anything we've seen in that genre. Do these comments make you more, or less, interested in seeing the new mutants? Make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. The film is directed by Josh Boone and stars Anya Taylor-Joy, The Witch, Maisie Williams, Game of Thrones, Charlie Heaton, Stanger Things, and Alice Braga, City of God. The film is set to hit August 2, 2019, for now. Synopsis, a diverse cadre of teens are learning to cope with their superpowers. These new mutants find themselves held in a secret facility against their will and must battle the dangers of their powers, as well as the sins of their past.